Hello, everybody. You're in my car with me, and this is a first, but I went to one of my favorite uh, consignment shops, and I bought this bag of awesome, awesome stuff as I'm struggling to get it out of here. But I wanted to do a quick, like, come shop with me video, and I can't stand... Uh-oh, I'm all tangled up. <laughs> this is going to be a messy video for me. Look at these shoe buckles. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm so excited. Um, they're from the late... 1700s and they are foiled rock crystal in silver and they were <laughs> they were 50 cents for the pair yes this one's missing two stones but i was super excited by that find let me set those out of the way and they're in one of my books um in my house and my car is an absolute mess today but i bought these at another store i bought these earrings let's see here I bought these. Yeah, they're contemporary, but for $15, they are brass, uh, Mojave turquoise, and little gar garnets uh, in the top. And for $15, I couldn't pass those up. And you know I don't love contemporary, but I had to buy those. And then I bought this awesome string of beads, but way down in the bottom, let me make sure I'm not losing anything here. I got this string of beads for $20, and it's amethyst and incredible, incredible beads. Um, I'm tangled up on a bracelet. <laughs> Like I said, this is unusual for me to be in my car and my car's still running because I'm on to the next place. But I wanted to do a quick feed of like, come thrift with me. I got this turquoise Native American Navajo bracelet. Very old, probably late 30s, early 40s on this one. And let's see here, uh, $28. And I think I got it for $25. Uh, but really beautiful turquoise. Really fantastic, fantastic stone in that. Uh, and mine-wise, uh, what mine it came from, I'm not going to comment on that just yet until I make sure that I know for sure. Look at what's in the bottom of this bag, though. This is the best part. All right, so let's see. This came from the same store. And again, sorry about the quick video, but you guys wanted to come shop with me. So um, tourmaline and sterling silver for 25 but really beautiful tourmalines. Pink, green, and kind of a mixed colored tourmaline. But I love that. And in the sun... It's going to be, yeah, that's going to be a fantastic, fantastic piece for $25. And then look at the bottom of the bag. Look, look, look. And we always say the tiny and shiny always go to the bottom of the bag as I struggle to get this out of here. Let me stay right there. Well, look at the prisms from my um, crystal rosary hanging on my rear view mirror. Um, so there's this amethyst ring. Boom. Look at that, baby. Incredible amethyst ring um, in sterling silver with a really beautiful gallery on the bottom of that ring. Absolutely beautiful amethyst ring. Absolutely loved it. A very quick sell. But this right here, this was the one. These were in a dollar bin and I couldn't believe that the pair was still together. These are from the late 1600s. Uh, so it could be as early as 1690, maybe 1720. Some people would say that these are Georgian, but these, in fact, are, are just before the Georgian time period. Step cut mounted, beautiful, beautiful stones in the quartz um, or possibly, let me take a look here. No, these are probably rock crystal uh, quartz and then with foil from behind that has turned yellow. Um, because of the oxidation of the silver foil underneath, turning them into a kind of citrine color. Let's see if we can see that one. But look at how old these earrings are. I have never, in my over 30 years of, of buying and selling, I have never found a pair of these. And they open from the top, so they open here. And then this little ring holds that in place on the ear, but these are extremely, extremely rare. I could not believe. They're probably going to test higher than 14 carat would be my guess. They're probably more in the 18 carat family. But again, I'm headed into another store really quick. So I'm going to pause the video and I know at home, uh, oh, and the shoe buckles, I'll bring those back real quick. These shoe buckles. I know that I have these in a book somewhere. I, I know that they're mentioned in a book, um, one of my reference guides. So I'm going to race home. I'm not going to AI or Google Lens. I'm not going to go crazy with that. I'm going to look in my book when I get home. And uh, these earrings, whoops, these earrings are just so fantastic. So ignore the dirty car in the background. Oh, look at those in the sunlight. And you got to remember, back in the day when these were made, these were uh, made to, 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 to be beautiful by candlelight. 
Uh, they were made, so there's silver foil underneath those rock crystal and um, really fantastic stones. But again, I will get two stones cut for that and restore that. Let me pause the video. I'm going to race into this next store uh, and then I'll splice the end of the video. I'm going to try and do it anyway, so I hope it works. But I'm going to race home, look for my um, book. And um, yeah, I've got two other stores to go actually. So I'll see what else I can find. I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I did. I raced back home and I found this book. And it's The Art of Jewelry by Graham Hughes. And you can see by the cover of this, I had looked at this book forever for so many years. But look on the inside. So here we go. Look at this. So here is a buckle that is almost identical to these. And yes, the center um, pronged piece is, is off of these, but sometimes these rock crystal shoe buckles, uh, for a gentleman, by the way, these were gentleman shoe buckles, sometimes these did not have that central hasp mechanism. Um, and look at the similarity. Then you come over here, and some people would say that these shoe buckles are, um, you know, uh, Georgian, or they would say that they were early Victorian. That is wrong. Look right here right there two english shoe buckles the left one which is the rectangular one right there the left is from 1780 and the right is circa uh, 1760 silver gold steel and paste the earliest paste stones tended to be rectangular and the later round well guess what so we're into rectangular cut rock crystal or paste stones in these and i will test them these look more rock crystal than paste uh and they might be paste so i might have to do a little bit more research before i sign off that they're rock crystal but you can see where underneath the stone there was that piece of foil that still oops that's still stuck down in there in the mounting and then they put the crystal over that to reflect the light once I restore these, I'm going to be in the driver's seat for money. Can you imagine if you were able to turn these into uh, two sides of a bracelet? So again, sorry for the low quality and the low lighting of this, uh, but I'm going to pause this and take these out in the sunlight for you. Give me one sec. And it's a beautiful day out. But this book, just so you know, this book is incredible. Let me sneak these out of here. And this book is just genius. And then I'm going to look for my other book. But look at some of these pictures. This book is absolutely incredible. And uh, thank you for allowing me to not be inside um, doing this from the inside of the home. I'd rather be seat seated outside on my back porch to do this. So you are um, basically sitting right in my lap. And this book, incredible pictures. So if you like the history of jewelry and you love books like this, please, by all means, in the later pages, look at the detail. So you can really see the way that these older pieces were constructed. Um, oh, listen to the birds singing that spring is here. Yeah. Oh, and look at modernist. Absolutely beautiful. So please, ooh, oh, this is, uh, oh, I could get lost in this. This is Wendy, uh, Wendy Ramshaw's uh, rings, and uh, Wendy did incredible. Oh, it matches my nail polish. <laughs> oh, and my chipped nail, nail polish. Look how bad my fingernails look today. All right, not about my fingernails. I'm going to go out in the sun. I'm going to show you that, and I just wanted to show you that. Those shoe buckles, ooh, Renee Leak. Oh, no, here I go getting lost in a book again. <laughs> I'm so distracted all the time. But there is... Look at that. Incredible match. Incredible, incredible match. I'll take them out in the sun. And then, oh, I'm going to do another video on those earrings that I found as well. The very, very old earrings. I'll do another video very, very soon. So hold on one sec. So look at these in the sunlight. Aren't they just incredible? Look at that dazzle and sparkle. And can you imagine these on a gentleman's shoe back in the day? Just incredible, incredible survivors and not thought about because of the damage. And I think they thought they were new. I think they thought that these were new. And the one is totally, totally complete. And look at the construction on the back. Very solid metal, um, silver and steel incredible construction for something that was just supposed to be a uh, mere decoration on a shoe but look at the way it pushes and pulls the light and the dazzle and sparkle of those uh, stones really beautiful and just remember the older stones are rectangular and the more contemporary stones in the 1780s were round 
So again, sorry for the haphazardness of the video, but I just wanted to share one of my quick shopping excursions and uh, take you along with me. So thank you so much. And I'll be back uh, with another video very, very soon. And thank you for liking and subscribing and sharing me out. Enjoy your beautiful spring day. I love you.